Hi, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to sell t-shirts on Etsy with Printify. It's a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now, let's get right into it. If you have a passion for creativity and fashion, selling t-shirts can be a fantastic way to showcase your design and earn income on Etsy. By partnering with Printify, a leading print-on-demand service, you can turn your unique t-shirt design into high-quality products that customers will love. Etsy provides a vibrant marketplace for independent sellers to showcase their handmade and unique creations, making it an ideal platform to sell your custom-designed t-shirts. With Printify, you can easily integrate your Etsy shop and start offering a wide range of t-shirt designs without the need for upfront inventory or production cost. In this guide, we will walk you through the process of selling t-shirts on Etsy with Printify using popular design tool Canva. Canva is a user-friendly graphic design platform that will help you create stunning t-shirt design even if you have little to no design experience. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to open is Canva, of course. We will be using Canva to create our design and then later on, we're going to move on to Printify. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to create is a t-shirt design. So you're going to click on the search bar and you're going to search for t-shirt. And you're going to select the t-shirt option over here and you will be redirected to the templates for different t-shirt designs over here. Now you can create your own and you can also see different designs over here on the templates that Canva has for us to use. But for us, we're going to create our own design. We're going to click on create a blank and we're going to start from this design over here, which is a blank page. And the size, the sizing over here that Canva provides for us for a t-shirt design is the perfect size that will fit on a t-shirt. So we're going to use this as it as our size. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to think of a topic that we will be using. Now for me, I'm thinking of earth. So we're going to do that. But before that, actually, I'm going to turn my background to black because I like the black color. So going back to elements and then we're going to search for globe drawn just like that and we're going to click on our graphics and we could see all the different designs over here for a globe and we're going to change it from globe to minimalist searching that and we're going to see the different options we have over here we're going to look for a version that we like the most so maybe this one over here at the top one we're going to go with this one we could select this change the color to white because i like the white color and we could add a text over here. Let's go and add a heading. And also you could use different font style over here if you would like instead. So we're going to do that. We're going to take this one, put it into our page over here, enlarge in this, and we're going to ungroup and delete the one that we don't need. So this one, we don't need that. We're going to have this as our main section over here. And we're going to change the text to anything we want for example we would like the message to be sphere and we're going to have that undo the italize over here just like that and we could make this just like that then we could enlarge in this and just like that and now we have our very simple message over here now what we're going to do is we're actually going to adjust this again make sure it's centered just like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to add more design. We're going back to elements array here. And now we're going to search for minimalist lines. Just like that. We're going to strive for minimalist for our design over here. So we could have this one maybe. We could add it to our design over here. We're going to change the color to white so that we could see it properly. Just like that. And now we have a design over here. Put it in the middle. Just like that. We have a very simple design right now. We could add more design. Let's look for other things that we could add to our uh, artwork over here. We could add this one. We could change the color to white again. And to do this, click on white, just like that. Now we have a design over here. Make sure everything is centered, just like that. And then this will be our design for the meantime. What we're going to do next is we're going to click on share. And we're going to download this. Now I'm going to download it with a transparent background and click on download or actually we could change the background to white over here and we're going to download 
or add an element that's square or rectangle. Then we're going to add that. Then we're going to change this to black instead. And we're going to enlarge it just like this. And we're going to adjust the position so that we can see all our different things. And just like that, then we're going to fix our box over here. We're going to make sure that it is centered just like that. And now this is our design. Very simple design. Very minimalistic. So we're going to download this with a transparent background so that we won't be seeing the white part over here. Now we have our design over here. Now going back to Printify. In this section, we're going to click on our catalog and look for a t-shirt we would like to design. So either we choose from the men's clothing, women's clothing, or a kid's clothing. For now, we're going to go with the women's clothing. So click on t-shirt. And by clicking that, we will be able to see all the different options that we have over here. Now hovering on the different options, you can see which area of the t-shirt your design will be placed on. So we're simply going to look for the one that we like the most. And uh, usually the best sellers are the best quality over here because best seller means these are the products that people are buying the most. So we're going to go with this one. And by clicking that, we will be able to open this specific product and see more information about it. And over here, we're simply going to select our print provider. You could choose any of this option depending on how much your budget is. So we're going to go and click on start designing. And over here, this will be our location where we will be able to start designing our t-shirt. Now I'm going to upload our design from my device and we have our design over here. Our design which is like a complete PNG or the design with a black background over here. For now we're going to go with the black background. Then we could add it over here and as you can see this is our design. We could enlarge it a bit and make it fit our design shape over here as you can see. And now we have our very basic design over here. Now, if you would like to add more colors, of course, maybe black, just like that. It will look the same. And over here on the back side, we could add another design, which is this one also. We could have this also that it so that it wouldn't be wasted. And as you can see, we have a back-to-back -back design for our t-shirt over here. Now, we could do is click on Save Product. And we will be able to be redirected to this page where we can see different mock-ups of our design. As you can see here, this will be what our design would look like as a mock-up. We're going to wait for it to float for a few seconds. And as you can see, this is what our design would look like on a t-shirt. And you can also see it on this other person over here. You could see we're going to wait for it for to load for a few seconds. Now, as you can see, this is our design over here. Now, what you're going to do is, of course, fill in the information, edit the product title over here, product description, uh, the description in this section, uh, fix the pricing for your different variants over here. And now for the publishing settings, you are able to connect your store by clicking on connect a store. And we will be redirected to the next section. And as you can see, I already connected my Etsy store over here, but I'm going to show you how you could do this. You're simply going to click on add new store. And then you will be able to see this option Etsy over here. And you're simply going to select this. And then you're going to continue with the sign in or the sign up with Etsy. And you will be able to fully connect your Printify and then upload your designs to Etsy for you to sell as a drop shipping. Now our example for today is very simple. You could go with a more complicated design. And Printify will be able to integrate that to the t-shirt design that you're going to choose. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.